I went back to get it, but we were too late. Constable Otto was there. I guess it's time that you had this. Vampires for Domkopf. It has everything a budding vampire like you needs. Read it and learn it all. It tells everything you need to know about your new vampire powers, as well as your many vampire restrictions. It has rules, flowcharts, pie charts, pie recipes, and good advice for vampires of all types. Thank you, Madame Stokoy. Back to being a vampire. With some time and practice, you'll slowly gain new vampire powers, especially now that Shroudy is no longer your master. You don't have to read it cover to cover, but you may want to use it from time to time if you two encounter difficulties during your journey. As a member of the undead, you are required to return to your grave every night My and- My grave! But seriously, I know, off on aside, I'm really not dead. Ah? Uh, no, 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 Mona. It says right here, when bitten and drained by a vampire, then fed some of the vampire's own blood, the victim becomes technically and legally dead in most countries, except Nevada, where death can be annulled within 24 hours. Grave dirt! Fine, I'll get right on it! It is not your grave, per se, but you have to sleep in the coffin filled with dirt from your grave every day. That is how it works. You did bring that grave dirt with you when you escaped the castle, right? Uh, not exactly. I, uh, sort of dumped it out. I'm afraid you're going to have to go back to the castle and retrieve it. Back to, to the, the castle? castle? Shush now, something's coming in. Oh, great spirit of the ball, show me sector 12. Madame Strigoi? Who are they? Vampire hunters. Monsieur Calvin and Belcou, his apprentice. Ah, oh, why on earth did sign send them instead of Abraham? Ugh, God only knows. Oh, well, they are vampire hunters from a religious brotherhood. You can thank them for staking Baron Shroudy von Kiefer to death back by the lake. They want to stake you, too. They will not likely rest until your undead heart stops beating in your undead chest, after which time you will be 100% dead. Look, if you do not find more grave dirt before sunrise, you will not be able to return to your coffin, and I already explained how important that is. Try the Draxylvania Cemetery and Picnic Grounds for a start. It's just down the road past the lakeshore. You can't miss it. What you're saying is that if we're ever going to make it to Paris, before we can leave, we must get Mona's coffin, then replenish our supply of Mona's grave dirt, and we're done? Once you have the grave dirt and your coffin, you will need a wagon to carry it all and a horse to pull it. I think you can borrow the wagon from the cemetery caretaker, and I just so happen to have a line on a horse for sale in the local town of Lad's Landing just up the road from here. I grabbed this flyer while I was there. I don't have any extra money, so you'll have to work something out with the owners. Steal, uh, borrow wagon from the caretaker? Work something out with the owner of the horse, get coffin and grave dirt, check. Luckily for you, I know some Turkish smugglers in Porto Varda. They owe me a few favors from back in the old days. I got them to agree to take you on their ship, the Demeanor, a large tramp freighter bound for France. They are scheduled to leave the docks just before dawn. They will not wait for you, so you must find everything you need as quickly as possible. Grave dirt, coffin, horse, and wagon. Got it. Nothing else, right? Well, come to think of it, you should really get an insane daytime guardian before you travel long distances just to be safe. What? what? Not another thing to get? This is too much. And why exactly does he have to be insane? Yeah, at best it sounds a little unwise to travel with nutcases, especially over long distances. Come on, think about it, you two. All vampires must find a mortal living human to guard over them during the day in case the righteous brothers or their brethren discover your coffin and decide to stake you in your pajamas. An insane guardian simply works the best. For one thing, they are more easily controlled. Two, they get less grossed out by the sight of blood and corpses. And three, uh, 
I forget three. Just trust me. They are essential to have for any sun-fearing vampire. But forget it. Never mind. We are short on time. You can worry about the insane daytime guardian when you get to Paris. Let's go already. We have a long night and a lot to do. Thank you so much for your help. My pleasure, child. I will do whatever I can to help you along your perilous journey.